Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now a number of you have been asking for an update on a hedge that I planted a few years ago now at Garden Ninja HQ and I'm going to show you that today. So come on, let's get cracking. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the red subscribe button below where you'll get access to over 120 garden design hints, tips, snacks. And best of all, it's free. So subscribe today. So hedges form a really important part of both garden design, garden boundaries, privacy and also security in the garden. But a lot of people tend to choose fence panels because it's really quick. However, there's pretty much no benefit to wildlife by putting up a fence panel. And also the drawback with fence panels is that when the wind hits them on those windy nights, they just tend to rattle, the wind bounces over, it damages your plants and your lawn, whereas a hedge baffles the wind. So as the wind moves through, it slows it down. Hedges also provide all sorts of beneficial refuges for wildlife, insects and birds, and they're really worthwhile. But enough about me talking about hedges, let's go and see how it's done. Now behind me is the hedge that I planted just over three years ago and it's an evergreen grizzlenia hedge and it was against the fence which you can't even see now. But three years later if I walk back to give you an idea of scale you'll see just how tall, thick and bushy it is and that's what you want from your hedge. You want it to mesh together and create this kind of semi-permeable barrier. Now I haven't fed this at all, I've not mulched it but the most important thing I did when I was laying the hedge and planting it was to make sure that it was well watered because if you're planting any new hedge they've just not got the root system to support themselves so watering them first off and continuously for the first year is really important and I made sure with this hedge that I was watering it thoroughly twice a week so there's no point drip 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 it's better to water them thoroughly once or twice than to give them meagre amounts throughout the week and I used a seep hose because this is a really long run. There's about 130 metres of hedging. So using the seep hose, I turned it on for sort of an hour at a time, twice a week. And then three years later, look what we've got. Now I know I need to cut this and you can kind of see from last year where I cut back to. It was about here and this is all the fresh growth. And the more you cut it, say twice a year, the more it will bush out. So I've been cutting this in early spring, around April, and then I've also been cutting it late September, early October, ready for the winter. And as you can see, it's really come along well. Now a year ago, I hard pruned a hedge in the garden that had got really wayward. And I'm gonna show you just how that's recovered now. And I think you'll agree that the results are spectacular. Now you can see the original height of the hedge there and it's huge but I took this down by two thirds about a year ago in spring and look at it now it's already back to life and looking really healthy. So take a look at this privet hedge next to me. Now, would you believe it? I hard pruned this last year. It was about 11 feet tall. It was all in that evergreen oak. It was a right mess. And it had been trapped behind an old shed that I removed from here. So I cut this back by about two thirds, really vicious, used a chainsaw and loppers. But look at it now. It's come back to life. It's really dense. And I'm now training this almost like a bit of a wave it's going to take me up to the moon gate in this part of the garden. But it does show that even with the oldest, gnarledest hedge, if you can take the time to hard prune it, you can breathe life back into it. So rather than rip it up and start again, always, always, always give it a hard prune first and see what comes back.
So there we have it. Just a couple of years later, we've gone from having an open exposed plot to a really lush, thick, bushy hedge. And it's not just the visual appeal that brings the benefits. The fact that that hedge is now gonna offer a home to all sorts of wildlife, birds and insects is a real benefit. So if you're thinking about boundaries in your own gardens, why not consider a hedge? Because it's far nicer than just flat fence panels. So if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe by hitting the bell and the red button below. And I've got over 130 garden design hints, tips and hacks to help you make your garden awesome. If you've got questions about hedges or anything to do with gardening, let me know below and I'll be happy to answer them. I've been Garden Ninja. Happy gardening. <laughs>